Disclaimer. This video contains information on homeopathic remedy. The purpose of creating this video is to spread information and knowledge about this remedy. We strongly discourage any self-consumption of medicine without a qualified doctor's consultation. Hello, and welcome, to this video. Let's look at, the homeopathic remedy, Belladonna. About this remedy, we will discuss, its common name and family, constitution and, ailments from, its guiding symptoms, mental symptoms, particular symptoms, and, its modalities and relations. Before we progress with this remedy please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We plan to bring one remedy every week for some time. It takes a lot of research, production effort, and personal time, to bring such knowledge in this innovative visual manner to you. Please, support our efforts by subscribing. Let's begin with its, common name, and, family. The common name of, Belladonna is, Deadly Nightshade. It belongs to the, plant kingdom, in the family, Solanaceae. Moving forward, we shall discuss, about its, constitution, and ailments from. This remedy is useful in, plethoric persons, with red face, and also, in persons having, light hair, blue eyes, fine complexion, and delicate skin. It belongs to, person having, lymphatic, bilious, and nervous temperament. They are, chilly patients. Miasm, Sora, is in the background. And, there is a, tubercular diathesis. The ailments are from, exposure to cold air, cold wind, hair cut, and uncovering the head. Now, we will discuss, the guiding symptoms, of this remedy. But before going into its description, let's look at Maria's case. I think, I am having fever. Yes. I must visit Dr. David. I am having fever, and pain in throat. It started all of a sudden. Let's check. Oh. It's very hot. Let's check your throat. It's very congested, red, and inflamed. My throat is burning. Ouch! Please don't touch it. Your glands are also swollen. Don't worry. I think I know the perfect remedy for this. So, from this conversation of Maria and Dr. David, we can gauge the guiding symptoms of this remedy. There is acute, sudden, and violent onset of disease. Another peculiarity is, severe heat, that imparts, a burning sensation, to the examining hand, and the physician is, reflexly compelled, to withdraw his hand. Next guiding symptom is redness and congestion of the inflamed part. There is intense burning anywhere and everywhere. Sensitiveness to touch of affected part is very well marked in this remedy. Great dryness runs through whole of this drug. Along with the above symptoms, swelling of affected part, is also found in this remedy. Pain comes, and goes suddenly. There is burning, and throbbing pain. Please watch this video till the end. We have a quiz and fun fact section, coming up. Now, let's proceed to, the mental symptoms, of this remedy. Belladonna patients, are very much, entertaining, jolly, well behaved, and social, when they are well, but, becomes very violent, and often delirious, when they fall sick. The mental symptoms, come in, intense fever, and in delirium. Excitement, and violence, runs through all the mental symptoms, it is, a wild state. The patient may, strike things, such as, throwing dishes. The patient bites. For example, biting the wooden spoon, into two. 
He picks up the bedclothes, tears them to pieces, and throws them off. The patient does unusual and strange things. For example, barking like a dog. He can also perform some unexpected actions, like jumping out of window. The patient has furious rage and anger. He wants to do violence. He has to be restrained, put in a straight jacket, or may be tied at times. All sorts of delusion and hallucinations are mingled with acute mania, like ghosts, horrid monsters, strange things, or deformed subjects. The person has various imaginations. He wants to run away from there. When the delirium passes on, he goes into a sleep, a semi-comatose state. He has violent dreams and nightmares, sees things on fire. Running all through the complaints, whether delirium, fever, or pains there is starting. Starting in sleep like an electric shock. Starts in fright at approach of others. The patient is oversensitive. There is sensitiveness to light, to noise, to touch, to jar. We hope you are enjoying this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We would love to hear from you. Please share your feedback in the comments section of this video. Let us know which remedy would you like us to develop next. Let's now discuss the particular symptoms. Regarding head, we found the following symptoms. There is pain, fullness, especially in forehead, also occiput, and temples. Much throbbing and heat. Boring of head, into pillow, drawn backwards, and rolls from side to side. Constant moaning. Vertigo, with falling to, left side, or backwards. Now, we will look at, the eye symptoms. Throbbing deep in eyes, on lying down. Eyes, feels swollen, and protruding, starting, brilliant. Pupils are dilated. Exophthalmus. Ocular, illusions, fiery appearance. Conjunctiva, red, dry, burn. Photophobia, shooting in eyes. Sensation as, if, eyes were half closed. Diplopia, squinting, spasms of lid. Eyelid swollen. Fundus congested. Next, comes ears. Tearing pain, in middle, and external ear. Membrane tympany, bulges. Parotid gland, swollen. Humming noises in ear. Sensitive to loud tones. Throbbing and beating pain, in ear, synchronous with heartbeat. Pain causes delirium. Child cries out, in sleep. Acute and subacute conditions, of eustachian tube. Let's proceed to nose. There is bleeding of nose, with red face. Tingling in tip of nose. Nose red and swollen. Imaginary odors. Coryza, mucus mixed with blood. Moving further to face. Facial neuralgia, with twitching muscles, and flushed face. Face red, bluish red, hot swollen, shining, convulsive motion, of muscles of face. Swelling of upper lip. Now, we will discuss about, the mouth. There is, throbbing pain in teeth. Gum boils. Grinding of teeth. Mouth is dry. Tongue, swollen and painful. Tongue, red on edges. Strawberry tongue. Stammering. Next comes throat. Throat is red, worse on right side. Tonsils enlarged, throat feels constricted. Difficult deglutition, worse liquid. Throat is dry, as if glazed, angry looking congestion. Sensation of lump. Spasms in throat. Esophagus dry, feels contracted. Let's now discuss about, the stomach. There is great thirst for cold water. Aversion to meat and milk. Spasmodic pain in epigastrium. 
loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, dread of drinking. In case of abdomen, there is pain, as if clutched by hand, cutting pain, across the abdomen, stitches in left side of abdomen, when coughing, sneezing or touching it. Abdomen distended, hot, transverse colon protrudes like a pad. The character of stool is thin, green, dysentric, in lumps like chalk, shuddering during stool, stinging pain in rectum, spasmodic stricture, bile's more sensitive with backache, prolapsus ani. Regarding urinary complaints, we find urine retention, acute urinary infection, sensation of motion in bladder, as of a worm. Urine scanty, with tenesmus, dark and turbid, loaded with phosphates. Incontinence, continuos dropping. Frequent and profuse urine. Hematuria, where no pathological condition found. Let's now discuss, the symptoms of, male reproductive system. Testicles are hard, drawn up, inflamed. Nocturnal sweat of genitals. Flow of prostatic fluid. Desire diminished. Now comes, the symptoms of, female reproductive system. There is dryness, and heat of vagina. Sensitive forcing downwards, as if, all the viscera, would protrude at genitals. Dragging around loins. Pain in sacrum. Menses increased. Bright red, too early, too profuse. Hemorrhage is hot. Cutting pain, from hip to hip. Menses, and lochia, very offensive, and hot. Diminished lochia. Labor pain, come and go suddenly. Mastitis pain, throbbing, redness, streaks radiate from nipple. Breast feel heavy, are hard and red. Tumors of breast, pain worse lying down. Moving forward to respiratory symptoms. There is tickling, short, dry <coughs> cough, worse at night. Dryness in nose, forces, larynx, and trachea. Larynx very painful, feels as if foreign body were in it. Painless hoarseness. Cough with pain in left hip. Stitches in chest, when coughing. Respiration oppressed, quick, unequal. Chain stokes respiration. Barking cough, whooping cough, with pain in stomach, before attack, with expectoration of blood. High piping voice. Moaning at every breath. In heart complaints we get Violent palpitation, reverberating in head, with labored breathing Palpitation, with least exertion Heart seemed too large Rapid but weakened pulse Now let's discuss the symptoms related to back Stiff neck Swelling of glands of neck Pain in nape, as if it would break Pressure, on dorsal region, most painful Lumbago, with pain in hips and thighs. Let's now, focus on extremities. There is shooting pain along limbs. Joints are swollen, red, shining, with red streaks radiating. Tottering gait. Shifting rheumatic pains. Jerking limbs, spasms. Involuntary limping. Cold extremities. The skin of the patient is Dry and hot, swollen, sensitive, burns scarlet, smooth. Eruption like scarletina, suddenly spreading. Erythema, pustules on face. Glands swollen, tender and red. Alternate redness, and paleness of skin. Boils, acne, erysipelas. Indurations after inflammations. Now we will discuss, the symptoms, related to sleep. The person, sleeps with, hands under head. Sleeplessness with drowsiness. Starting, when closing the eyes, or during sleep. Restless sleep, crying out, gritting of teeth in sleep. The person's is kept awake by pulsation of blood vessels. He screams out in sleep. The symptoms related to fever are. High fever. 
there is burning, pungent, steaming, heat. Feet icy cold. Perspiration, dry, only on head. No thirst with fever. Superficial blood vessels distended. Did you know, the word belladonna, is a combination of two Latin words, bella and donna, which means beautiful lady. Belladonna is one of the trio of delirious remedies, others being thiosimus and stramonium. It is one of Clark's ABC nurseries, others being aconite and camomilla. Aconite causes turmoil in circulation, belladonna causes turmoil in brain, and camomilla causes turmoil in temperament. Quiz time now! Answers to quiz will follow shortly. Now, let's discuss the last part of this remedy, that is, its modalities and relations. In modalities, first we will see the aggravating factors. These are touch, noise, draft, afternoon, lying down, light, jar, right side, hair cut, and uncovering the head. The ameliorating factors are Rest Warm room Standing or sitting erect In case of relations Its complementary is calcarea And antidotes are Coffee air Camphora Opium And aconite Answers to the quiz If you have found value in this innovative presentation to Materia Medica, please don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.